Now this breaking news on KCAL. CHP is chasing a reckless driving suspect. This started in the Cajon Pass on the 15, but it's now in LA County. And we understand, well, look at how fast this car is, is uh, going. Yeah. You're looking at uh, the numbers on our screen there, but Desmond Shaw, we know that could be a little exaggerated, but they were driving at speeds of uh, 100 miles or more. Yeah, we are up at triple digits right now, Pat. Look at this. In the center divider, no less. Southbound on the 605. Came away from the 210. I'm really worried this driver is going to lose control and crash into someone oh, going dear. so fast. Even though they are in a relatively capable car here, a BMW. Wanted for reckless driving and definitely driving like it. Mm. Uh, so, again, as you said, Pat, this started off the southbound 15 around Glen Helen. So, at the bottom of the Cajon Pass, the transition westbound 210. That's where we picked it up in the Irwindale area and just flying along since we got overhead. Uh, they were acting at least a little bit more rationally earlier, uh, maybe at about 70 or 80 miles an hour. But now we are pedal to the metal, 100 miles an hour, southbound 605, not afraid to go into that center divider where there's all kinds of junk that could come up and give this person a flat tire or a cause a crash, doing whatever they can to try to evade CHP, uh, who has their helicopter overhead as well. So from the ground and the air, it's CHP southbound 605 towards the 10 freeway, Pat. Yeah, that is really dangerous. Oh, look at that. That's so dangerous right now. Des, um, are CHP close behind this vehicle or have they given him some room? Uh, they were pretty close behind until he started driving uh, into the center divider, and then I, they oh. weren't going to follow him there. They kind of got stuck behind a couple of other cars. Uh, so I'll just widen out here for a second. I, I, I think they are really, there's a CHP unit there on the right-hand shoulder uh, monitoring everything. So uh, we'll see if they are able to get back uh, into place uh, to get right behind the suspect. But, you know, they do have the helicopter overhead with some assistance from Ontario PD's helicopter as well. I believe CHP has since uh, relieved them at this point. So, again, starting in the Inland Empire, but uh, up to, uh, wow, these speeds for real, 120 miles an hour, 110, 120. You see just how quickly going by yeah. that traffic, close to double the speed limit right now here. So, you know, really, really dangerous one here for uh, all, all of uh, everyone out here at the end of rush hour. Yeah, and let's remind our viewers that this this is a reckless driving pursuit. That's all we know right now. Uh, okay. OK, is they it looks like they might be trying to make an exit, Desmond. Possibly, of course, we've seen this well, before. Let's well, see. yep, there we go. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, very uh, common tactic here from some of these suspects to try to get over to the right hand side like they're going to exit and then they they dart out into you know other lanes at, at the last second thinking that uh, they're going to fool chp but you're not going to fool the helicopter on this one so and look at okay chp pretty close behind now mm -hmm. getting in the carpool lane now that we now we have a, a carpool lane here for uh for traffic to use so we are through the 10 and then we're going to be right through the 60 here shortly at Valley Boulevard, so we're in the South El Monte area. This will take us down towards Whittier and beyond. We'll see if there's any traffic volume up ahead on the southbound 605. There definitely can be uh, in afternoon rush hour, but we're you know kind of at the tail end of that. And it's also a Tuesday, typically the lightest traffic day of the week. So as also often happens, I think traffic is going to end up cooperating for this suspect. Although this suspect letting us know that it doesn't matter if traffic cooperates or not because they're going to go to the, the center divider or the right-hand shoulder if they have to to uh, try to uh, evade authorities. Yeah, it certainly feels that way. Let's bring in Mike Rogers at the desk now. And boy, you know, we have seen some very unusual chases and tactics by law enforcement over the last couple of days. We've seen spike strips thrown actually on a freeway, which is a rarity. Um, we, haven't, we don't see that very often. Um, but with this, with the speeds that this driver is going, we also saw a car spin out yesterday because they were going so fast on an off front. Right, and Pat, I'm getting new information right now. The uh, dispatchers over at CHP relaying information to their officers. Not only was this guy wanted for reckless driving, it sounds like they were finally able to run the plate. Assault with a deadly weapon, mm. uh, robbery. This guy apparently mm -hmm. has a very long list. Uh, of criminal history according to the California Highway Patrol. Now relaying that information, and you know, Pat, I, I had kind of wondered why, you know, just reckless driving, why were they kind of, you know, letting this go the way they are? And now we know that this person's also wanted for much more serious crimes than just reckless driving. But, you know, you're right. And, you know, we're, we're talking about these pursuits that are putting people's lives in danger. And uh, we're on a freeway where, you know, it's not packed, but it's open enough to where he's able to reach really, really high speeds. And it just takes one miscalculation by the driver to, uh, make things go terribly wrong. Yeah, or even a, a, a piece of a gravel on the road, on the highway, just about anything. And the way that this person is going in and out of traffic, she said, you, you wonder just how much um, 
they could be thinking, considering the charges, or, or let's say what uh, this person has outstanding warrants, I would imagine that's where they're getting that information from. But, you know, it's uh, generally, it doesn't end well, and they usually get caught. So Desmond, just wondering now, what could possibly be um, what happens next here? Is on, they're on the 605. What's the next freeware interchange that they, they're coming up on? We've got a little ways before we make it down towards the 5 and then the 105 and the 91. So lots of connections for this suspect, depending on what they want to do. And as far as, you know, what CHP going to do, you know, best they can do is stay in tow, keep that helicopter overhead. And, you know, if this is someone they really want, and from what Mike was telling me, all indications are this is someone they really want to get off of the streets, you know, they're going to need to to stay in pretty close proximity because, you know, look what happened mm -hmm. with that pursuit yesterday where you had that desperate suspect got out and ran and you know if they had well they, they took a pretty dangerous shortcut to evade the authorities but because of that you know and there was no one there to to get it into a foot chase with the suspect it turned into an hours long standoff and you know there was some concern even that that, that suspect could have, have gotten away at one point so uh, they're going to want to stay in proximity on the ground if possible definitely keep those eyes from the sky uh, you know, because if they get out and run under some trees, some tall buildings, a parking structure, something like that, that's a you know huge vulnerability to the chopper. And you can see CHP, uh, even with these really high speeds, they have been pretty close uh, in pursuit. There's actually two units now uh, behind this one as we're over towards the far right-hand lane uh, here at Whittier Boulevard. Well, and look at that. You know, it just makes me wonder. Um, we didn't say stolen vehicle. They've run the plates, so they apparently even probably have an address on this person. Right, and Pat, I want to clarify something. I, I when I told you about that information earlier, to to be clear, he's not wanted on those crimes that I listed. He has a history of those crimes. So when they ran the license plate, the registered owner of that plate comes back with several of these theft uh, convictions, robbery, felon in possession of body armor, assault with a deadly weapon. That's his criminal history. So we don't know if he has active warrants on any of those things now, but uh, they were given that information as like, hey, use caution. This guy is not new to the system. Uh, and this is something that you're, you know, you're dealing with with this guy. But yeah, I mean, he is, you know, not wanting to give up at this point, Pat. And you know, the fact, uh Mike and Des, even though he's not necessarily wanted for a commission of those crimes mentioned or uh, felonies, so to speak, you still want this person off the street considering how he's driving um, because he's putting other people at risk, including uh, himself and, you know, law enforcement. And that's the whole reason they tried to stop him to begin with was, you know, they saw him coming down the 15 freeway driving crazy like this. They got behind him, and here we are. Uh, Des, is he, I, I don't want to say calm down, but maybe that is... A, a good word to use here. It looks like he's slowing down a bit. Or is that because of traffic? Yeah, we're, it, well, yeah, maybe a little bit of both. I mean, the carpool lane is pretty open right now. A little bit of residual afternoon traffic volume on the southbound five as you approach the 605. So, you know, at the very least, we're not going 100 miles an hour with cars going, you know, a third of that. It would just, uh, it amplifies the danger there. A little bit of stop traffic. This should last down through, I believe, it'll, it'll probably through the 105. And by the time we're at the 91, uh, things will pretty much will have have opened up at that point. So we'll see where the suspect's headed. I mean, we've already covered so much ground, and we are in a you know decently capable vehicle here. One of my uh, BMW friends uh, texting me, letting me know, clarifying this is a one series. Wasn't sure if it was a one or a two. This is a, a BMW one series. So even though it's you know on kind of the bottom of the BMW food chain, still a, a very uh, adept vehicle. You know, definitely excellent handling. Pretty decent horsepower, pretty good acceleration, as we've seen, and a pretty light and, and nimble car as well. And what do you know? Uh, we've got the pursuit tents to go along with all that. Again, the super dark uh, blacked out windows here, uh, which, you know, another factor that law enforcement uh, absolutely despises in these pursuits. No, I can imagine that. And, the, and <laughs> I'm listening to you describe the vehicle. Certainly not one that you would think uh, deserves that kind of uh, uh, wear and tear that it's getting right now on, on uh, our freeways, that's for sure. Um, we're hoping, or well, he's picking up just a little more speed again. Um, when Desmond Shaw was over this in the very beginning, um, right before we went on the air, in fact, Desmond was flying overhead in Sky Cal, and we understand this guy was driving over 100 miles an hour, um, very recklessly in and out of traffic on the southbound um, 15 in the, in the Cajon Pass, and now he is in Los Angeles County on the 605 freeway. Is that heading southbound? 
Daz, I know you mentioned that. Yes, uh, there's uh, southbound and there's the five freeway underneath. So we're now across the five as we are solidly into Norwalk now uh, at this point. So next is the uh, 105, usually the, kind of a little shuffle here, south 605 between the five and the 105, maybe even down towards the 91. And this will take us, uh, if they're going to continue on this trajectory down towards Seal Beach and Orange County, it will be interesting to see if Orange County CHP got involved in this one. We've certainly seen uh, some uh, aggressive pursuits from Orange County in the past. So, boy, just a lot, a lot of ground covered in a pretty short amount of time just by virtue of how fast uh, this driver has been uh, taking this one series BMW. Well, he seems to be staying in uh, that lane well, as soon as I said that, then he moves out. Uh, but, you know, he was hugging the center uh, for, for such a long time uh, going in and out of traffic. So just wondering, sometimes you, you try to get into the, the minds of these people that are behind the wheel, wondering what they could be thinking. Possibly the reason why he was slowing down and, and driving at a more, um, you know, reputable speed. But now he seems to be putting on the gas again. And is, since you've been overhead, Des, he hasn't made any exit off the freeway, right? It's always been on, on, on freeway. That's right. It's been all freeway all the time. He, to my knowledge, even when this was out in the Inland Empire, it's just all been on the freeway uh, at this point. So, you know, what is the ultimate destination of this vehicle? And, you know, what's the gas situation in this car as well? Because uh -huh. we have covered so much ground at such a, a, a high speed, you know, and well, there look at we that. Go. Speak of the devil, Pat. Now we're uh -huh. getting off here, so this will take us, I believe, to uh, Rosecrans Avenue. And uh, we'll see where the suspect's going to go from there. There's CHP not too far behind. Indeed, we will be getting off of the freeway right here. Uh, no, that was not a stop sign. They, he did have the right of way right there. Uh, but now things could, well, let's see how dangerous this oh, gets now traffic. that we are down on surface streets. Yeah, he's running yep. the traffic. I almost thought he was going to stop right there, but see how he, he navigates through these cars ahead of him. So the left turn lane, and he does make that Rose left. Kranz. There was CHP's helicopter that went through our shot, and okay, right back on the freeway. So it, mm. it seems that this uh, this person definitely wants to stay on the freeway. Uh, I mean, they pro had to. I mean, it sounds like from what Mike was saying, it's not this this person's first rodeo. So they probably had some kind of idea that CHP had. Uh, a much better chance to bring this to an end on surface streets than they do on the freeway. And so now we're just right back on. Really, really quick diversion there. Back up to 85, 90 miles an hour. Uh, and we will be headed towards the 91 freeway next. You know, when you uh, listed those charges that this person was already convicted, it's like, okay, so now you're out and you're just, rap you're going to rack up some more charges. Well, with this pursuit. Yeah, and I mean, you not only rack up the charges, but anything that happens during this pursuit, they could enhancements could be added because he is a convicted felon. That's one of the charges that he was already convicted of was, according to the CHP radio traffic I was listening to, was felon in possession of body armor, which is not something that felons are allowed to possess. So, uh, you know, depending on the terms of, is he on parole? Is he on probation? All that. Uh, you know, all of that. So, you know, I was just sitting here thinking, Pat, technically the want is just reckless driving, but CHP is not letting this go. And that's likely right, because once they get their hands on him, there could be West. more things that he ended up being wanted yeah, for. West. And then they'll be able to determine that. So, uh, you know, and the, the bad news about running from CHP is they're a statewide agency. And they we have gone through... San Bernardino's office, Ranch Cucamonga, Baldwin Park, East LA, uh, and they'll just keep swapping out those officers throughout the entire state. So uh, they're not going to get tired of chasing them, and uh, they've got the resources to do it. And now he's on the 91 freeway, uh, westbound Desmond. That's right. Yeah, so we did make that connection here. Uh, westbound 91, away from the 605, uh, headed through Bellflower and uh, towards Compton and beyond. This will end onto Artesia Boulevard. Uh, before it reaches the 405, so a, a couple of uh, junctions up ahead, but seems really committed to state of the freeway uh, the whole time. Just kind of curious about that that very quick diversion getting off the freeway at Rosecrans, uh, but decided to keep with it here, still at 90 miles an hour. And uh, this is going to be the lighter side of traffic in the day westbound on the 91. Eastbound would have a much higher chance of encountering some stop and go traffic, but west of the 605, westbound 91 is uh, pretty easy going as far as traffic goes for the suspect. Cutting over at the last second there, uh -huh. could have gotten off the freeway. Clark decided uh, not to it, so kind of zigging zagging all over the place.
And you know, lately we have seen uh, pursuits with, um, I don't want to say a car full, but um, yeah, I guess that would be correct. Several uh, su suspects. Right. In, in the via, in a car. Now, we've only heard about this driver, is that right? Yeah, so C CHP was able to confirm with their units that they, there is only one person in the car. So that does help them that they're not going to have to deal with people scattering, you know, once this comes to an end. And right now, still just CHP. Yep. Over, overhead and on the ground. You know, we wonder if there was, I believe you mentioned Ontario um, a moment ago, Desmond, that they could have been involved in this, or well, they were. It was, it was their helicopter that was uh, okay. lending a hand. I think they were probably the closest helicopter in the vicinity uh, back when we were in the Inland Empire to, to uh, hand off on this. And then, you know, I'm sure they were making arrangements to get CHP's helicopter uh, involved as soon as they could. And so once they were there, they have relieved them. And we saw CHP go through our shot a little bit ago when they got off the freeway based out of Fullerton Airport. Sometimes they get their fixed wing overhead as well. I do not believe that is the case right now. I believe it is just their helicopter down low. But uh, likely to stay, you know, despite even if we get off the freeway, I would say it, it's likely to stay CHP uh, that's going to be uh, in pursuit of this from, from end to end. So uh, it seems like they are pretty determined to take this mm -hmm. uh, all the way to the end here as we uh, continue to truck along here at just about 100 miles an hour carpool lane westbound 91 with this uh, little BMW. <laughs> and I imagine um, with those charges that, charges that we talked about or the convictions that that's another reason. You may have stated that earlier, Desmond, that they would probably stay with this because while it is reckless driving with all those convictions, you just never know what else this person, you know, could even have in the, have in the vehicle or what, what he's thinking, what he could possibly do. So best to have someone like right, that off the freeway, time. certainly at this particular time. Yep. Uh, yeah, absolutely. And here it looks like a, a fresh unit now uh, is uh, in the lead of the pursuit. You know, a lot of times we'll see this with CHP as well, where they will, will switch out and get you know, kind of a fresh set of eyes, uh, so to speak, to, to get on this. Because, you know, it's pretty stressful to, to be in pursuit of a vehicle, you know, having no idea what this person's going to be doing, especially at high speeds. It can be very fatiguing. So, you know, that's another one of the many advantages that a CHP has here is, you know, they have so many officers all over the place that they can uh, put in a fresh unit. And it looks like that is what they have done here as we have transitioned to the southbound 710. So now we are on a trajectory for Long Beach. In yeah. fact, uh, that would be where last night's pursuit uh, happened. We'll see if, uh, if, the, if the suspect is going to be headed down towards downtown Long Beach. That's where this would all end. And coming from the Inland Empire, as you said, they have really covered some ground. And no wonder, as uh, you mentioned about CHP having a set of fresh eyes, that, that for them as well, this has been uh, this has been a little distance in terms of uh, the road that this person has traversed. And you know, as as Desmond has been mentioning, this started as a reckless driving pursuit, and so far that's still what it is, right, Mike? Right, that is still technically the want is reckless driving. But I, you know, I'm sure these officers now knowing his criminal history have got to be wondering. I mean, there's a, there's a reason people run, right? I mean, yeah. you know, so w whether or not he's violated a parole or probation, if he's on parole or probation, or what's the reason that he's taking off like this? Um, and this is, you know, Pat, this is how it started. He, he was always, since law enforcement had their eyes on him, this is how he's been driving. This is why they tried to stop him. And then it wasn't until that that they ran his plates and finally figured out who he was and some of his background. But I mean, the, the way he's driving Ooh. is just insane. Yeah, going over 100 miles an hour and in and out of traffic, passing by those those uh, huge trucks on the road and just Ooh. your mm. now that's close. Just drivers, uh, you know, probably trying to get home from work or what have you on the freeway and you've got to be dealing with th this person who has no regard but it's a, again just having a feeling of if you're on the road if this has ever happened to you when someone is driving that fast and they pass you it can be very disconcerting right and we're on a freeway that is leading to the port of la and long beach so we're going to start seeing these container trucks that you see here which i mean are far less nimble than a sedan or even an suv so they're not going to be able to react the way a smaller car would if this guy is making these erratic uh, moves. All right, is there another move here, Desmond? Right. Possibly? Yeah, I was just waiting to see if they were going to try to pull a last second maneuver here, but it looks like we're going to the 405, I believe, uh, right now. Um, and you see those two units were uh, able to, to cat. Yeah, that's actually a CHP motorcycle right there as well. Uh, kind of interesting how 
Um, they're now uh, maybe playing a, a, at least a small part in this pursuit. So one cruiser and a, and a CHP motorcycle officer. Uh, and okay, so this is actually what they call the collector lane. So even though he took that exit to the 405, still has the option to continue on to the 710 if they so choose. So let's see where this connector is going to take us. Uh, it looks like this is the through lane, I believe, for the 710, that collector lane. Um, well, yeah. Looks and like it. I was hoping maybe, yeah, I, I was hoping, I don't know, maybe CHP was going to try a pit maneuver or something while they had him kind of isolated. But getting back into uh, kind of some heavy traffic here. So almost through the interchange. And no, well, okay, we're going to be getting, yeah, making, it turns out we will be making the transition here to the southbound 405. So... We've gone 15, 210, 605, Ooh. off and off the freeway, 91, 710, and now 405. Uh, almost playing freeway bingo now uh, as we are going to be making our way through Long Beach and uh, by Long Beach Airport and towards Orange County. You know, Elvis, what do you think, um, Desmond or, or, or Mike, why would a motorcycle officer well, be involved. yeah, I, I was thinking about that. And actually, it looks like we're going to be on surface streets now, Des, right? Um, that says West, West Warlaw. We, these are the really, uh, actually, yep, yeah, you, you know what? Well, you're right. We, are, we, we got off here at Wardlow. It was kind of a, a, a little maze here. So had the option, I think, for the 405. We are actually on Wardlow paralleling the 405 right now. So Ooh. still in the city of Long Beach. And this is now the longest that we've been off of surface streets. So are we, is the suspect headed somewhere? you know, where they, they want to be headed, somewhere they're familiar where they think they can ditch the vehicle and uh, escape CHP. We will see right here as we're now on Pacific Avenue. There's CHP's uh, helicopter there overhead as well. So making our way now southbound on Pacific Avenue towards downtown Long Beach where, you know, I will say there's a lot of parking structures and uh, a cluster of tall buildings. We'll see if that plays into any of this at all. And right now he's in a, a, a residential neighborhood where there are a lot of homes, which is, uh, that's not too, um, you know, encouraging there, at least for people that live in the neighborhoods who could be walking along the street or just kind of driving casually or listening to music, what have you, not even knowing that this is going on. And so far he hasn't, I haven't seen him make one stop, Desmond. No, not, uh, not at all. I, I don't think these really, well, the last couple lights I think have been green uh but here we go uh so there's some through, okay definitely a illegal left hand turn uh, maybe chp will get an opportunity for a, a pit maneuver we'll see this so far the suspect has not let chp get too close uh, as we're now on willow street so headed back eastbound here uh well north of downtown long beach at this point but one of the more major streets for sure uh in long beach and you know de definitely quite a quite a few people out here I just got off work, maybe making some dinner plans or whatnot on a Long Beach Boulevard. There's the blue line tracks there uh, in the middle of the street uh, as well. So now southbound towards downtown Long Beach. Yeah, well, you got to be thinking they really want to do a pit maneuver and get this before they, before he c has the opportunity to get on freeway again. Yeah, right. And Pat, you know, really quickly to answer the question about the motorcycle unit, mm -hmm. I was sitting here thinking about that. And, you know, part of the, the, the good thing about motorcycles is they can weave through traffic and stuff. So if this guy gets into really heavy traffic and jumps up on a sidewalk or something like that, that motor officer is going to be better able to, you know, get through the cars to stay with him behind him. We've also seen situations where these people have, you know, bailed and ran through a park or a playground or something like that. And again, those motorcycle units can can jump up on those curbs and more easily get into those areas. So uh, not sure if that's what CHP was thinking or if that was just one of the only units that was available. But uh, there definitely is a, a purpose and a tool to having those motorcycle units, Pat. All right. That's a good answer to the question because you also wonder, you know, is, is somebody driving that recklessly that that wouldn't uh Boat well, even for the officer. On yeah, yeah, very dangerous oh. for the officer to try to follow yeah. at those speeds. Okay, now Desmond, he's now on East 21st. He's making a lot of turns yep. here. Yeah, we, yeah, and we're getting pretty deep into a residential neighborhood. Ooh, it really yes. makes you think that they might be looking for a place to ditch the vehicle and get out and run. We'll see if there's uh, any any rhyme or reason to this, or if this is just random driving or what. Uh, but lots of turning uh, left and right, left and right, maybe trying to kind of throw that uh, CHP helicopter off, possibly. Uh, Martin Luther King Jr. and 20th here, uh, pretty close to Long Beach Poly High School here, according to our uh, map tracker. And look and, how fast uh, still, he's driving. You know, boy, 
Yeah, yeah, 40, 50 miles an hour on these narrow streets where there's a lot of folks out here walking around uh, after work, flying through that intersection right there, really mm. close to the opposing traffic. Uh, yeah, this is uh, this is getting really stressful. Is this for real? Are we 80 miles an hour on this little street right now? Unbelievable. Absolutely unreal. Unbelievable. Uh, this, this kind of driving going on. Yeah, and oh. there we go. Okay, Just went up stop. and out, out of the vehicle. Look at that, we're just trying yeah. to get as much distance as possible, just like we thought. Let's see if that motorcycle officer can play into any of this. So at 15th and Martin Luther King Jr., looks like he wanted to go into that house, right. but thought a better of it here, and now out, and wow, just like that. He gave Gonna up? give up after all this. After all of this, it's, mm. you know, I mean, you, you, it, you endanger all these people, you go 80 miles an hour on a street, and oh, there is and there's uh, that a motorcycle, motorcycle officer, officer, but the other one's out with guns drawn. And uh, despite all the insane driving there, they were not able to uh, evade the handcuffs here by CHP off of 15th and Martin Luther King Jr. Avenue in Long Beach. And again, when we talk about all the convictions that this person has had, this certainly doesn't, um, you know, that doesn't help. You're reckless driving and you just add more charges to what you've already, uh, 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 you know, uh, uh, piled on, let's say. Right. We don't know how long it's been, if it's been over years or what, yeah. but still, you know, you're, I'm, I'm assuming that he served some time in jail, but now here you are, you're out, and you're handcuffed again, possibly going to jail again because you've been, you were driving. Yeah, and, and you know, reckless driving, so he reckless. pulled over and he didn't have any other wants or warrants, reckless driving is a misdemeanor, that's a ticket. You know, now, at minimum, he's got felony evading which is just upgraded that to a felony charge. So who knows if he's got other things going on. It kind of seems like he might, but um, you know, at minimum, he was going to get a ticket. And now he's now he's looking at a felony. Yep, and, and CHP decided they were going to stay with this and they were going to um, get this guy no matter what. And they stuck to their plan, followed him on the freeways and on surface streets. And uh, there you have it. He had nowhere else to go. It's all right, Desmond. Yeah, maybe. Uh, well. I was just going to say, maybe maybe he was pretty low on gas, you know. I don't know if this was just kind of the, mm. the last-ditch attempt or whatever. But whatever it was, definitely uh, not well thought out. And, uh, you know, just uh, you would have thought if you would have had a record like that, maybe you would behave a little bit on freeways. But right. uh, I guess this guy had other plans and now going to jail. All right. Well, Desmond, we're going to call a, a code four on this and we will send our viewers uh, to regular programming and we'll have more on this pursuit and the other days news and boy there has been a lot of news today that's going to come come up at 8 p.m on kcal right here kcal los angeles all right folks have a good one